Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking our first step into a series of videos that has been much requested on this channel, which is all about nodes in DaVinci Resolve. So let's hop into Resolve and get started. Here we've got this lovely clip of April Renzilla from a video that will come out someday. And what is this over here? This is a corrector node. You see we're in our color page in our node window. And this corrector node is the beginning of something beautiful. So what these corrector nodes are is basically a container for effects. It's sort of like a layer, but not really. So in this first node, you'll see we have access to all of these different controls here, which we aren't going to go into in detail, but just know all of these effects are available in every corrector node. All of this stuff and then all this stuff within this stuff. So very powerful. So whenever you have one going, you can get a lot of cool stuff going on. So let's just use some curves here and we'll let's say add some contrast, make it look sort of like Saving Private Ryan and we'll make that like that and we'll reduce the saturation some. And you know, perfect, look at that. We've got a great look going on right now. But let's say we like that, but we wanna add on another curves layer just like we would do in Photoshop and say, we like what this is doing, but we want to lift up the blues in our shadows. So what I did there is I hit Alt S, which another way you can do that is right click and go add node corrector and just drag it in line. Or you can go up to nodes, add serial node. So now we have another serial node. Now you can have access to all of these same controls again, you see. So if you click over to our previous one, you've got all these changes that we made from this new one. They're all here, reset back to zero. So here, let's just add some blue in the shadows. Perfect, look at that, great look going on. So now you can see we've made our first adjustment and then our second one. And you can hit Shift H and see what's going on in each separate node. So now that's great, it's just sort of like layers so far, since this is our first sort of basic serial corrector node tutorial. One other thing that we should know about DaVinci Resolve and how it works is it uses what's called a floating point engine, which I can explain to you mathematically, maybe, or I can show you. So here, we just add another node and we will make this go completely black or as completely black as we can. And then in this next node, we can make it go completely white and you see it can recover all that detail. But if you go into something that's not operating in a floating point like After Effects, I'll hit Control Alt Y and add a new adjustment layer and drop a curves on there. And these are acting sort of like serial nodes right now. So this would be our first node and our second node, sort of. So in this first one, you can see, we'll do the same sort of thing as we did in the other one, just like that. We'll add, even add a little bit in there. And to show you that this isn't working at a floating point, we're at eight bits per channel here. So now we will hop back over here. We'll go to our other, you see we bring this up, but we're not recovering any detail. It's just making the stuff that we did have brighter. So we're losing all that detail at eight bits per channel. While here in DaVinci Resolve, you can see hitting Shift H, we're losing tons and tons of detail, basically everything. Uh, make this a little bit more accurate. There we go. And then here you can bring everything back. And it's like those nodes never even happened, which is amazing, which is a great thing. So you can do all sorts of crazy grading things like that. You can see just all in a line happening one after another, after another, just connected up with these little dots coming from the input, going to the output right over here. So that's the first sort of basic introductions to how nodes work. The most basic form is serial corrector nodes. We'll get into more advanced things like parallel nodes and layer nodes and key mixes and stuff like that down the line. But for this one, you know, I think we're doing pretty good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little beginning of a series of tutorials. If you like, you give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to check out the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more fantastic content, we've got links for our socials down in the description below. Also, be sure to check out the House Let's Pack on MeesnerMedia.com slash products. It's a great way to get started color grading. It's got lots of presets to help you get creative for more interesting looks. So I'll just drop one on here real quick so you can see what happens. Look at how cool that is. And you can even like reduce the opacity. You can like blend things together. Hit Shift H so things behave. And look at how cool that's looking. How sluts. I'd highly recommend them because I use them all the time. For this actual video, I did just going a little tangent. For the actual video, what I did was basically just put, uh, I believe it was the magnanimous cliche. Yeah, and it added some contrast. And that's pretty much the look for this video. I did like a little bit of extra stuff, but it's pretty much just this LUT. So 
I really do use them in real life all the time. It saves me tons of time. Go check them out, meastnewmedia.com slash products. They are wondertastic. And I just released an update, so there's even 10 more than before. Once again, I've been Theo with Meast New Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.